I have a hunch. Oh, what's that? Looks like some goodies have arrived. Let's get these opened up. Another surprise. Kid on Christmas. Getting magnets. Um, so to show you guys really how much I order off Rock Auto. If you guys ask on the pages, I always answer, you know, 80% is Rock Auto and uh, the rest is O'Reilly's. Here's my fridge. I'll just kind of add that guy. Um, this is like most of the collection over the years. Some doubles still. I've tossed some doubles just from having so many. But uh, yeah, um, I even submitted my car. So hopefully one day I uh, hear back from that. Right here's uh, buddy Jason here, local in Ohio. Got his Monte Carlo on one. All right, so we're gonna do some modding today. Um, basically, my brother's car is an SE. Uh, if you guys haven't noticed, I mentioned that before. So the back of his car has drums. So what we did is right before I got rid of that scrap car, you'll see that we ripped off everything in the rear end and here it is. So basically this is the entire braking system from the back end minus lines. If you SE guys out there want to do this, basically to get this guy off here, first you're going to get your two lines off. So your hydraulic line for the actual caliper and your cable line for your parking brake. After you have the two lines off, uh, you have your two bolts for your strut. You have one big giant bolt that goes through both of the lateral arms that head to the center of the car. You have right here, which is your sway bar link. And you have a bolt down here, which holds on your trailing arm. So basically what you're keeping, so you have your spindle, your hub is attached to the spindle, you have your caliper and your bracket, and you have your rotor here. Now, I just did this for a visual because what I'm gonna end up doing is gonna reassemble all this stuff as you see it here, rip everything out of Tanner's car as you see here, and basically just put everything right back in. Um, all the parts are same drum and disc that you see sitting here and how it all connects. So it's real easy. Um, also, so not only is the parking brake cable different, but your hydraulic line is different. So here we have everything we're gonna be changing, our rotors, our pad kit with the hardware uh, we're going to do two new sway bar links here's both new hydraulic hoses and the new trailer arms like i mentioned i'll we'll have it all ready to go you know we'll take a couple hours to swap everything over and we're going to do a good flush on the entire system i got about a gallon of brake fluid so you know do whatever you gotta do to make it right so let's get this put together and get on get it on his car assemblies ready to go we'll swap out the uh, trailing arms when we put them in the car then we got our wheel off to get this assembly off here's what we're gonna do two 18 millimeters and punch these two bolts out 
you have a 15 millimeter on the bottom of your sway bar down here. 18 millimeter nut on this side for where the lateral arms go through. And then you tap that all the way through and that'll come out. 15 down here on the end of your trailing arm. And to help get that out, uh, this is an 18 right here with a bolt coming from the inside. Tap that out. This will fall out. You'll be able to uh, get this out of the way. Next to your lines. So this is a 12 millimeter on here. I suggest soaking it real good before you try taking it off. Because uh, you're going to use the rubber line for a disc. As far as your parking brake, uh, you just connect it in the center. We're just snipping it and uh, using the push tabs to pull this out, as you saw here. There's tabs on into here that slide into the center section. Um, this is where you would uh, replace this piece for the disc, because this is different for the drum. Here is our drum. Old. New. We're also going to replace this guy. And now time for reassembly. So we got our brakes finished here. Everything but the parking brake. We're gonna re revisit that another day. Still learning how that works. So did brand new rotors, brand new pads, but used everything else from the other car. Got it all bled and uh, ready to rock and roll. Any questions? Let me know. Leave it down in the comments. I'll do my best to list all the parts we used, new and used. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.